Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first episode of the Indie Horror Speedruns podcast. I am your host, Dom Slays. I hope you're all well. I'm here with my co-hosts, uh, Tim Troll, Gasm, Diggity, Mild, and Plez. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Fantastic. Fantastic. What up? Wonderful. <sighs> Jinx, Tim. Love that. Love that. Love that. Okay. Um, I'm sure the majority of the community is uh, familiar with all of you guys, but... But uh, let's introduce ourselves here a little bit. So uh, to my left, we have Tim. Tim, how are you doing? How was your day today, my friend? Uh, it's very early. It's like almost 10 a.m. Right, it's right. It's going fantastic. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear, my friend. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, uh, to the left of Tim, we have Diggity. Dig, how are you? What up, guys? It's also very early here in Australia. It's very, it's very good to be here. We're, uh, I'm excited to, to be on this, this damn thing, you know been too long open it is forever yep 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 love to hear that my friend uh below me is mild mild is uh chilling mild how are you i'm great i'm great happy to be excited <laughs> let's fucking get it baby love to hear that uh and next to mild we have the homie plez plez how are you i'm fantastic you already know dude you already know let's get Ready it to cast it up awesome awesome yeah so um we have a couple topics for our first episode here um but i think coming off of indie or speedruns marathon 2023 it would probably be best to dive into that so um thoughts on the event let's talk it went so well i actually it's i'm still reeling from it like this this late this late on like it's it, it went so well it went better than i think any of us could have ever imagined yeah like, yeah we put on a good show, I think. And that's just incredible. Um, I think one thing I really want to discuss here was how crazy a 16 plus hour marathon was for one person to kind of handle. So big shout out to Dig for that, because I feel like that was a very like slept on part of the whole event, you know? I appreciate that. Do you want to get into like the whole setup and what, and what it looked like in the back end? Cause, yeah, of course, cause of course. Man, I was in the trenches. You so, were definitely so in the trenches. How we had it set up, how we had it set up was I was streaming the marathon from my PC, and so I would get all the runners into a call. We would talk about, you know, I, I would pump them up a little bit. I would get them like I would double check the audio, make sure it was all good. I would um, give a little countdown and then send them live. And then on the back end, I was like changing all the OBS settings and everything, making sure the whole thing was running smoothly. And I was essentially watching my dropped frames counter and making sure it was very low the whole time going, please please <laughs> this one time i need you to stay up yeah i i, um, I think one thing not to yeah. cut you off but i think one thing that that uh was actually really crazy that we spoke about after the show um was how much of a chance there was for shit to go wrong there for a 16 hour stream to be perfect for that long is is really sick really really sick yeah, no, it, it boarded yeah. close to 17, too, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. honestly. Yep. Pretty good. Pretty good. Every time I was watching, <clears throat> everything was so smooth. Everyone was coming in perfectly. Everyone was leaving perfectly. Yep. Everything was top tier. It was really enjoyable. Yeah, um, I mean, even I, was, at some point, when I was watching the, the, like, the Outlast Trials run, for example, I... um. I was, I was sitting down watching the marathon as if it wasn't me that was in the marathon. Like like streaming it, I was just watching it like like I would, you know, I was I was chilling. Yeah, I, well, have been chilling I do want to say such work. a strong start with uh, what was it called, the Calypso or the Callisto? Callisto protocol. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. wonderful start to it. Oh yeah, I, I didn't think yeah, I had a better start. Run. Like even even the uh, the mishaps just added to the uh, the whole thing. Oh, I agree. It's some what big mishaps like. Yeah, like I. Well, yeah, what mishaps? No, the. Uh... <laughs> he ended up having to use cheats at one point, didn't he? Oh, oh is it like him? Like, does he? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Like, um, missing the jump and going, oh, screw it, I'm using the save states now, and ended up having to mess around with that, or running the wrong direction after he gets the trick. And... Yeah, yeah. Like I, I mean, it was great. I wish I, I was able to pay more attention to the runs, mm. but mm -hmm. I was like, you know. It was it was four a.m. for us or five a.m. Yeah, yeah, it was absolutely it was. Yeah, it was a late night. That was definitely a late night. Um, 
Okay, one last thing before we kind of uh, switch gears here. What was your favorite run of the marathon? Oh, God. Well, I mean, mine's a bias, obviously. It was the inside of my 100% <laughs> run. That was fantastic. But if I had to pick something other than that run, I might say the Atlas Trials is pretty good. That was sick. Mm-hmm. Bar the tech issues. Yeah. I mean... What that was also a first too though like like yeah. we never had any races or co-op runs like that so no, yeah to grab I mean, dig on that yeah definitely it was it was up. you know tech issues aside it was it was a great run to watch definitely yeah, I, I, it is on my wish list yeah i mean especially now we kind of learned a thing or two as well so now we know going into next year you know what to deal with if somebody does want to run a co-op run or um a race mm-hmm. or anything like that you know it's crazy because we we did it so good the first time but like they're just you know they're, they're just improvements that we could make oh absolutely absolutely and and like that's a thing with every event like you're never gonna you know have everything go perfect every time you're just not right but um as long as we do our best and kind of learn from anything that goes wrong it, it's it's always just gonna get better and better and better you know because like right. that's right like, even when you think about, like, big events, like, even big, massive events still have hiccups, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's so much that can go wrong. Yeah. Like, even outside of your control, like, you know, the runner's streams could go down, or they could, you know, mess something up, or, you know, Twitch's servers could go down, or whatnot. Like, mm-hmm. there's so much that actually that, could, that can go wrong. Like, the OBS software can crash. I remember uh, all of that with the Outlast Trials, like wasn't even on our end like they were lagging a bit you know so yeah yeah stuff, stuff I can't control the thing about really. that one is we we could have i mean there was some stuff that we could have done there to mitigate that like if i had everybody stream audio then i could have just switched to somebody else that was not lagging as much i think it's definitely not their fault right but and we i was still able to enjoy the run but yeah just something to learn right what are your guys' favorite runs man um i really enjoyed the wheat uh wheat harvest yeah that's good, the the wheat harvest is, is good. A, it's definitely second Luke got dressed second up yeah i mean he got yeah. dressed up for it he was in character it's great but yeah. the thing yeah, is he was, was great like, was he in final after the after he was yeah after the callisto protocol he was even saying in the in the um the call he's like oh i i, I can't follow this like it's this was such a good run yeah. and yeah. then you just see the chat his entire mm-hmm. run just spamming the word wheat and it's like man i think they're really enjoying this run <laughs> uh, mine was a mix between a few i really liked uh the callisto protocol it felt really nice with the commentators and everything oh, i really liked ism it was like I because he was ahead of time. I even though we had some weird back end stuff, uh, I loved the back rooms runs because it was like that was cool to see. I felt like it was pretty hype once you got into it, especially someone who'd never seen the run. And Mm -hmm. I actually really enjoyed Zom's run, felt like it was a good closer, it was a nice chill run. He was just chatting the whole time, it was good vibes just to just to pass it out or to end it off. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I, I liked a little bit of everything. I agree, man. I agree. Um, Dead Rising Three was really cool to run. I'm not gonna lie. Um, that was that that was like a big accomplishment because even though like the time wasn't that great, it, that was just a game I always wanted to like show off. So that was cool. But if mm-hmm. I had to pick a run, um, hmm, <laughs> I mean, I I I don't know if it's my favorite, but I like the Gari's run because uh <laughs> like it, it was it was so crazy to see him actually nail that on the third try i like yes, dude, be, I because like, we weren't horrible. expecting it yeah like like we weren't expecting that at all and um he hit it and i was like huh, huh. Yeah. so yeah because yeah, he was in he was in vc before and like i don't know if i can do this guys i don't know and i'm like just chill I, like, I, I, I just it. practiced for an hour and a half and I haven't hit it. <laughs> I just practiced for an hour. Oh my god! Because like he, he he missed it the first time, and I'm like, okay, I'll give him one more. Because like you gotta remember, in in my position, we were behind schedule, so I'm like, how many chances am I gonna give this guy? Right? He misses it once. I'm like, ah, come on, run it back, run it back. He misses it a second time. I type in, run it back. I'm like, should should I let him run it back? One more go. One more go. And like, I, I don't know what I would have done if he missed it the third time. Dude. <laughs> he clutched up. He clutched up. <laughs> that was so sick. 
Um, Mild, what was your favorite run? I'm pretty sure you already said it, but... Yeah, the the wheat harvest. But oh, okay, we also okay. Had yeah. a few the like, world records, right? How many do we have? Like, we did. We I think one, two or no. two, right? Oh. Yeah. Or no, like three in the LS trials though. They had a bunch mm -hmm. of like IL trial. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh yeah. World yeah. records, yeah. Well, they had the full, they had the full run as well. Yep. Like there was the um, there was the big one. I think. Yep. No, that's sick. We I like that. Almost. We almost had the in sound mind record. It was very oh, close. Yeah, almost. It, it yeah it got it crushed at the very end there. Soft lock, right? Just a little note. He didn't. He did not. He did not getting it because we sat down. Yeah, we were soft lock. We we sat down afterwards. We fucking went into the lab for like an hour and a half, and we figured it out. We figured out the route. We figured all the dialogue and everything, and he got the he got the record like last week or something. It was hype. That's fire. But I'm. It is a shame that it didn't happen during the marathon. Um. All right. Alrighty, my friends. Uh, shifting gears here. So. Being the inaugural episode of the IHSP, IHS podcast, um, mm -hmm. let's talk about the history of IHS and how this all started for those who don't know, for those who are asking about it, for the people that don't know how we all got here, um, because there's always questions like that. So I think this is kind of where uh, Dig and Mild kind of take over. So uh, whichever one of you guys want to kick this off, because we don't come into it later. I guess I should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, me, so, I'm, I'm the, well, I'm not even the Genesis, right? So, uh, I was looking like, I think mid July 2021, I was just looking for runs on speedrun.com because what I was doing back then was I would just go to speedrun.com's games page. I would, I would search by, uh, latest added and find all the new games that were added. Uh, and then I found this little game called Altered Gas Station and I was like, what is this? What is this thing, right? Three minute little run. I watched it. I'm like, this is dumb. This is so dumb, but I actually kind of want to do it. <laughs> so I do a run. I beat the record. And I'm like, because this one other bloke on there, look, Joey. Um, and so I see it's got a Discord. And I'm like, why is this got a Discord? It's a little, you know, shitty little indie horror game. I'll join. Or I'll see what happens. Right? I'll, I, remember, I remember clicking the Discord button and seeing one active, one member, and thinking, oh, I don't want to join this. I don't know. Indie horror speed, like, and the click join. It's just, it's just, you know, it's look jelly. He's trash gang. If anybody's, you know, been in the Discord, and you know, we just chatted up and having a great time. He's like, got, he's got a few other games in there, and he tells me, okay, I want this server to be like, just a bunch of little indie horror games for this community that you could run and like you go between all of them. And I was like, that's kind of sick, actually. That's kind of sick. So I start running the other games. I, I start adding more. I think um, the first regular who joined who's still who's still active now is cats in Dombe. and then back joined sometime after i forget which game but back is og og mm -hmm. he's, he's 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 you know top blood definitely uh and then i ended up i added the game white tail incident at some point that was the first game that i went and looked through and then added uh and then you know i, I think i did a couple runs of that and then at some point wild joined from there yeah, like I, I did the exact thing you, you did. Was I was just going on SRC and was looking at like the latest runs, you know, and I saw the white tail incident, and that's how I um I came across IHS, you know. I I was I was looking through the game and and I found like um like a, a a inventory glitch, I guess you would call it. If you go through the game, like you could like save up your ammo and then use it in the next run, you know. So I was doing that, and I um. I think I got world record or something like that, but I I joined and posted it and uh, dig. dig yes. I, love oh, God. I, I love the joke about this. Dig, dig uh, called me a cheater. That was like a no, first mild the dirty cheater. Mild the cheater story incoming. Yeah, he called me. He called me a dirty cheater. That was our first interaction, you know. But no, it, it was uh we we figured it all out, you know. But yeah, it was it was between that and there was another game, uh, Beneficium, mm. and, like. The, the the bounty board was very i think that was like maybe the only thing that was up there <laughs> oh, at that time yeah. but uh trash Dude. gang was like was like yo you you found this glitch in this other game like check out this one so so i went through beneficium and i found some glitches in it too and and i don't know it was just kind of all all from there you know yeah it, i want to kind of touch on that before we move on like if you scroll up to the top of bounty board you'll see trash gang put the first one up there and that's where the whole bounty thing started from um, is because is because he put a bounty on Beneficium. I wanted to talk a little more about that white tail incident thing. All right, and I wanted to clear my name. This is the first episode. I need to, I need to clear my name. Okay, I remember we we've talked about this and we've cleared it up. Right, so 
the reason that I was suspicious is because he had way more ammo than you would normally have at that point. <laughs> and I think what was the other thing that he did? There was one other thing. I don't remember. Uh, I'm not sure what the other one had... was. I just remember the ammo thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, he could shoot. You were shooting things from way far away. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I just said, like, huh, that's weird. That's what I said. I said it was weird. And then Vac came in. Next message. Peter? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Huh? <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, kind of, but shut up. <laughs> No, um, but we cleared it out. It was actually those both legit, and um, you know that that kind of like sets the tone. Like Miles' first thing in the server is him finding glitches and breaking the game, yeah. and that that is definitely who he is. To us. Um, so I guess after why tell him when did Bloodwash come out? Because that was the next one, right? That was you guys. Yeah, yeah, that was like the first game that I really like focused on. I was like, I was waiting for that release. I was like, this is this is gonna be the game. <laughs> like, this is our mm -hmm. game, you know. So I was I was waiting for that one. I'm not sure when it came out, but it was like 20, 2021, something like that, right? So it was late twenty twenty one, right? Yeah, yeah. Me, me and Zom have like the same story for that. Uh, I remember we were speed running zombies at the time, and I was like, we were like helping each other out, learn stuff. And he brought it up. I'm pretty sure he like just out of nowhere. We I never. Oh, XQC played before. it. XQC played it. That's what it was. Oh, okay. That's okay. what it was. So he popped up no and way. he was like, "Yo, this game just came out." Mm -hmm. And I think we played it. And I remember saying, uh, "Oh, this game would be awesome if it wasn't for the long ass uh, laundry mat wait." You know where you're at the laundry mat mm. waiting for thirty minutes. And I think we went on to YouTube and we saw Tim's video. Tim was the top suggested. And that's how I, I'm pretty sure that's where I saw him first. It was playing Bloodwash. And uh we noticed that I, I think he was already in here and already had the mod that Dig made. I was like, oh he uh maybe No, I wouldn't have been. I uh because I'd put up one or two runs and then it was dig actually commented he, he dragged me into the server he's like oh check out this server. Oh, no. um, okay that and i be. joined here because of the blood wash one and then there was like one day here where there was like four or five of us all just in blood wash and then dig was like hey how about we do this and then it gets rid of the timer so i'd, I'd been in here for maybe a day or two I, I could have thought that when I came in here, the mod was already made by the time I got in there because I remember being like, I remember being like, oh, this this timer mod so shit, and then I was like, oh, they have they have a fix for it. I may be wrong about that, but I thought it was already made when I came in here. Oh, uh, maybe I don't know. I'm not exactly sure when you popped in. But, but you, uh, yeah, you also joined before me and me and Zon. Oh, it wouldn't have, wouldn't have been long then. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah. Long. Probably in the same window. What did Miles get the board, or or is Tim get the board? Tim get the board. Oh, I'm not, not sure which of us got the board. Uh, no, some because it was. I think you had commented on something saying telling me to submit because you were setting up a board or something. I um. Uh, okay. I I just yeah, so, so, one run on YouTube and thrown it up, and that was it. At that point, Miles got the board. Tim did a run. If if you guys aren't familiar with the blood wash run, which I'm sure most people here are, um, I think about like what five, uh, three or four minutes into the game, you you go to this laundromat and you have to wash and dry clothes, and the washing machine has like like oh, I forget how long it is. It's like a that, nine that, minute that, delay. Eight, like you put it in minute. eight minutes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You would know because you waited the whole time. Uh, you, you, you put in the you put in the clothes. <laughs> it takes eight minutes and it finished washing. You take it out. You put it in the dryer. It takes like eleven or twelve minutes, and then yeah. uh, take it out, and then you continue the run. In any percent, like so, in the normal game, there's a bunch of other stuff that you can do around the area, uh, and then come back to it, like you meant to explore. But in any percent, you could just wait. So yeah. Tim did a run. Hey. I guess Miles did a run as well, where they just waited for the full time. I tried yeah. doing a run and I soft locked after waiting the full time really cool um so then i made the time mod, mod. so the, the time mod just made each of those wait two seconds each um yeah him did that run and then pleasant Tom came here and like we had the whole crew was or almost the whole crew was here by the end of 2021 yep yep um 
that's pretty much how it how it started realistically um because i think the only mods and staff at the time was dig mild trash gang and who else there were a couple other um trash games mates i think he, he made join to boost the server a little bit but yeah. they weren't really active yeah it was like maybe 10 20 people max when i joined you know it was very very early mm -hmm. There's only a couple of channels, like, <laughs> yeah. if you looked at the server back then compared to what it is now, it's it's night and day different, you know? Cause, I mean, there, there was literally, like, five channels. I mean, we didn't have hardly anything yeah. here. You've got really to respect sick. on gaming late at night and the oh, gas station. Yeah, oh my the god. OGs. The classics. And uh, Alright, so that's kind of where I was going to go next, because, okay, so we all joined, we all start grinding blood wash, but where does that go? So... Um, I remember vividly like this like three month span of just running through every single game, right? And we eventually got into Northberry Grove and then we got into things like late work and um just all those kind of like Northberry Grove. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was like the second game that me and Plez played. Pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, because I didn't play Northberry Grove until way later. Yeah. So I don't know when that came along. Yeah. I'm I'm not an OG there. Mild uh was the one who pretty much discovered that, right, Miles? Yeah, I think so. I don't know which one I found first. If it was Northbury Grove or if it was like Happy's or something like that. But uh, oh yeah, it was like Barn and like Northbury Grove at like the same time. Yeah, I, I, I stumbled upon like the Scythe Dev team. You know. Yeah. 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 Okay. And we ran. Okay, that's like right. Yeah. Yeah. So as we started grinding mm -hmm. games, um, we were just super passionate. I like it was like that like end of twenty twenty one entering twenty twenty two kind of era where um. Everything just was going so fast, and I think after, a, like, a hot second of just playing a bunch of random stuff, grinding games, getting new leaderboards for game setup, um, we stumbled upon AVP. Now, we yeah. don't have to, like, yeah, dive like dive this. super hard into this one, because we could make a whole episode about this. <laughs> I was going to say a whole episode. Could yeah. Be made out of AVP. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but needless to say, we all super super grinded that and that was a game where um mm -hmm. i feel like brought us together as not only friends but runners and that's really like to me was like the turning point yeah. because we started taking the server more serious we started uh taking just the community more serious you know mm -hmm. um this was like february 2022 i think so we found avp2 or yeah Miles found it because of course he did yeah um, <laughs> that was definitely like there's a few times in ITS history when like all everybody is in on a game and we're fucking grinding it. It was like Bloodwash, it was AVP2, and I can't think of a time where it's really happened where all five of us have been on a game together since. No, there hasn't. There literally has not been another. And um before we go we've any further on, like, we've been on the same game at different times, but yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. To this day, I still owe you guys an AVP2 run. Yeah, literally. Yeah. That's, oh, that's, this, yeah, oh, this guy is a fucking. Mm -hmm. Who's this guy, anyways? How mm -hmm. do you know without playing AVP2? Honestly, yep. this guy off the fucking screen. Yep. <laughs> See you, boys. Um, so, I think it was around the end of 2021, or right around like when Rot Flesh was coming out, and it was super, super popular. Um, Ooh. we were designing a flyer with Turbo Board, and Turbo Board is a uh, bounty website. Huge shout out to Kruger um we'll also dive into that later but um i remember vividly making the rot flesh competition flyer it was a bounty sort of thing and uh we didn't have a logo yet at that point and that's where i was like wait we need a logo because the original logo before the current ihs logo was the ps2 logo which a lot of people have never even seen like the, the little haunted oh. uh haunted ps1 mm -hmm. little ghost guy yeah mm -hmm. that was, that was when i joined logo. the server Back in July 2021, it was just the whole PS1 logo. Yeah. Yep. It was still there, but then, I, yep. I joined even the September of that year. was the. Yeah. Yep. Well, so we, we had a. It had a different name, too, like originally, didn't it? Or was it always IHS? I think it was something like Indie Horror Speedrunning or, you know, some little variation. Yeah, yeah we, we made like a minor change to it, yeah. Yeah. Like the acronym wasn't there until later, but it was always Indie Horror Speedruns or Speedrunning or something like that. But eventually it, it just got settled on Indie Horror Speedruns. And then when I realized that, like, okay, we're going to start doing things outside of the Discord, right? We're going to start hosting competitions. We're going to start doing other kind of things. Um, that's when it occurred to me that obviously we can't, we can't slap the, uh, haunted ps1 logo on flyers so we eventually got our own logo mm -hmm. 
we designed that, and then, um. Well, well, hang on, Zong, I, I, you're all the you're all the full credit for that, right? Because we got a we got a technology that, that. Oh yeah. Fucking logo was fire. Y- yeah, that yeah. I mean, flamed. I mean, like I wasn't gonna gas myself up, but you know, like. It's some light. It's some light. I remember seeing that in the market going, oh shit, he fucking, he fucking hit it. He yeah. Hit it frame one, that's crazy. Yeah, the whole uh, kind of like VHS like, aesthetic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, Tim, do you have your, um, do you have the jacket? Uh, yeah, it's somewhere. Uh, Dude, I'm buying one stat. I'm buying one Dude. stat. Um, oh, so. I'll back to some, but I want to see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we switched the logo, and that's when it occurred to me that we could actually like make a community platform for the community, right? Um, it it got deeper than that for me. Um, that's when I was like, hold on, we can actually like do something special here. And at that time, I don't even think we're at four hundred members, maybe three hundred, something like that. Oh no, we we weren't even close. We were, close. We were, we like... were like at a hundred, maybe. Like we were. <laughs> when we switched the logo. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Yeah, yeah, we weren't. We weren't yeah. not popping no. That's yeah, crazy. Choo Charles brought us a few hundred people, I'm pretty sure. Wow. Yeah. yeah Choo Choo Charles really brought in a ton of people, but like, I mean, before Choo Choo Charles, I think we got up to like 250 ish or something like that. You yeah. Know, just, just by ourselves, but like, yeah, we were not wow. not that big whenever we, we did all the rebranding stuff. <laughs> That's... When was this change? Like the logo change? Because I can actually f- search the channel and see if I can get the number. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That was man, like mm. I recall using the haunted PS2 logo on that test stream we did for Puppet Combo. Oh on for my channel. That's June. So yeah, it would have been like maybe mid twenty twenty two. For the marathon that we did or the one for Green Gaming? No, the, the the test one that we did before Green Gaming. So that might have been Maybe that was a bit earlier, I don't remember. But yeah. Yeah, the one that we did on my channel that was an absolute disaster. Um <laughs> we used the PS2 logo. Um the true first yeah, one that uh, we did. <laughs> I'm looking in the welcome chat and we made that welcome chat after Future Trial started and there are five hundred and seventy two messages in there. So yeah, we probably don't have much we probably were not public. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Yeah. So yeah. Um launched the logo we launched our socials and we were going to try to make a positive change for the community right um try to bring new and veteran speedrunners together for the love of really shitty horror games um so that's kind of how we ended up uh in that position and then um once we all started working together as a group me tim dig plez mild we um we started cranking out a lot of ideas and you know everything from events everything from um marathons and and bounties and just so much stuff to uh just give the community but also for us to have fun too you know what i mean because it's for everybody it's it's for the community so um that's kind of that's that's like the long story short of of how we ended up with ihs and then eventually we had uh our marathon last year indie horror speedruns marathon 2022 which was obviously just as good as this year um and then yeah yeah we had a couple other moments in between like i think it was august is when we started the youtube channel august 2022 yep um and in december i just wanted i just wanted to shout out that got that ccc board for two trials Mm -hmm. that was a whole that was a whole month and a half um that completely blew us up like we had some big names joining like that was huge um oh actually also going back a year i think late 2021 is when in sound mind dropped and that was huge as well yep oh oh, yeah actually yeah that was that was definitely huge going hard on the demo we had a channel for the demo yep and you were super excited back then yep yeah um but just like a lot of a lot of moments like that throughout the years yeah. And as Sam said, like we've been putting on these marathons and putting on these events, and it's, now we're here. And it's like, oh, people mm-hmm. care about indie horror speedruns and us. And it's like, wow, that's that is really cool. I'm really glad that we are in this position. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wait. I want to show this off for anyone who hasn't seen it, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my God. 
god. Let's Dude. go, baby. First episode. Look at that. Look at that right there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so fire. <laughs> that Let's go. Crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah. Let's fucking get it, man. Um. So yeah, that eventually spawned the idea of um a podcast. That's pretty much what we're here doing now. Um, because we realize that the speedrunning community, more specifically the indie speedrunning community, didn't really have a premiere show. They didn't really have anything to listen to or anybody talk about news or anybody talk about, like, anything. Like, so that's kind of where mm -hmm. uh, me, I think it was me and Mild. Mild, did you come up with that idea? Wait, which idea? Sorry, I was I was doing some digging. I, I looked in uh, at the beginning of uh, 2022. We didn't even have 100 members. So like. Wow. What? Yeah. Wait. Wow. Wait. Yeah, that's so kind of crazy. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. You know, when we did all the rebranding and everything, but we were not not nearly as big as we we are now. I'm sorry. Wow. I was <laughs> a little zoned out there. Um. Do you remember how the podcast yeah, idea podcast. came about? Uh, I'm pretty sure you you brought it up. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I I I, I yeah, thought yeah, it yeah. was, but I I don't know. I just kind of had a weird. I don't know. I, I I feel like we both talked about it, and I then I was definitely on board. We we had yeah. some conversations like um outside like of IHS, just like one on one kind of thing. I think yeah. But, uh, I was definitely on board, but I'm pretty sure it was like your your main idea. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the big thing there was just to provide the community with more content. I wanted to keep you guys in the loop with what we're doing. I wanted to keep the speedrunning community as a whole in the loop right i wanted to make sure that new runners had you know a place to go if they wanted extra content or you know um before we get into this like we like really this wanted more than just like a marathon a year kind of thing you know we wanted yeah. to have more content like regularly instead of just being like okay here's our one marathon see you guys next year <laughs> yeah, <through>. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah and um i feel like that fell into place really well like we didn't have to like force any of that because it was only like two marathons before we were like okay like we need a little bit more content for maybe newer people or um you know people that just want it you know what i mean so um i think the next thing that we can talk about is what we're going to be using the show for um because we're going to do this on a monthly basis, at least at first. Um, if the show starts to get a lot of traction, maybe you'll see a couple episodes a month. But for now, it's going to be strictly one month uh, each month. And then um, we have lots of ideas, <laughs> like like a lot of ideas. Yeah. Um, well, for those who like lurk the Discord, you might see us in the staff room chat every week, just, you know, for hours at a time. That's basically what this fucking podcast is. It's yeah. just us chatting, right? Yeah. Um, so, like, I, I'm really excited because I want to get into, like, game news and stuff. Like, what's been popping on the Discord. Like, mm -hmm. all the all the cool runs have been happening. Um, Not that we get into it yet, but, like, that's that's kind of the idea. Is like, we, we know a lot of people that are kind of, like, outsiders and just kind of enjoy speedrunning content. Like, they're not in the Discord. They don't see all the stuff. They're not reading all the chats, right? Right. So, we're going to condense that information down here and, and, and tell you all. Uh, why do I say you all? Fuck. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> um, Y'all. Shut the hell up. Um, um, yeah, so like, do you want to get into like game stuff now or do you want to keep going on like IHS? Um, just to give a couple more ideas before we get into that. Um, so we're going to talk about game news stuff in the speedrunning community. Maybe some controversial topics here or there, right? I have a couple things that I definitely want to talk about that are speedrunning related. Um, I still think Yeah. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> And things like interviews, right? Uh, I know a lot of you guys have favorite runners. I know a lot of you guys want to know more about other runners. So we're going to get some guests on here as well. Um, and I think that'll be really cool to provide you guys a little bit more insight on people um, that are pretty prominent figures in our community, right? Top runners, maybe they're content creators, maybe, uh, you know, whoever, right? But um, yeah, yeah, literally. Um, but yeah, I'm dig a lot of names in chat that I'm that I'm thinking are good candidates. Oh you yeah, yeah, saying? yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, we have a private list going that I think we're gonna run through relatively quickly. Um, yeah. So, dig. What did you want to dive into game wise? Okay, all right. So the big game that's been hitting our fucking streets this this week is the Last Faith. Now, oh, Faith okay, yeah, is sure. Two D Metroidvania. Um, it's it's marketed as Souls like people that have played it have described it kind of like uh, Bloodborne. 
Um, and I think like what was it a couple years ago, Miles? You put you did the run of the demo. Yeah, I think it was it was maybe last year or something like that. It it had been it had been in development for for quite a while. Um, so by the time I had even found it, it, it had been in development for probably a year or two. Um, I think it's been getting yeah. played a lot, or something like that. But yeah, it's it's yeah, I think it was about a year ago that I, I did a run. Yep. Maybe I'll can I like at can I screen share maybe if we can get it on the on the stream just like people know what we're talking about. Oh uh, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Okay, so um. Uh, yeah, so the last paper is a 2 day by Trophania. It's really long. I mean, I saw Aishma come into the chat and, like, post running the full game, and I'm like, oh, two hours long. Ooh, that's, that's, that's nice and meaty right there, because I've been looking for a long game to get my teeth into. Um, yeah, and it's, it's, it's been popping. I mean, he's been going hard. Like, definitely. It's, the cart runs on the board on me and him. Um, he had, I think, like, a 2.15, that's two hours, two hours 15 run. And then he had like a 201, and then we found a couple glitches, 150, 149. Um, let me see if I can get this up. But yeah, it's it's like it's been popping, and I'm really excited to get into it. Um, uh, I gotta figure out, I gotta find the game that I put it. <laughs> Stall. Stall. Uh, yeah, I mean, like when it comes down to like um, these kinds of games, like this is what makes us really, um, really cool. Like, like we have an interesting team dynamic, right? Because we all like different shit, right? So something like this, I wouldn't touch in a million years, even if you paid me a little bit of cash and you're like, Zom, take this 20 bucks to play this. I'd be like, yeah, no, I, I don't think so. Um, So I think that's like really cool. And, and we just kind of like love different shit. But when it comes down to like the core of everything, we're all on the same page. Yeah, I love the aesthetic of this game, but uh, as soon as I found out it was like over two hours, I was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> I kind of checked out a little bit from it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. Um, so hopefully this, this works well, guys. Uh, so the game is, it's, it's, it's kind of Metroidvania-ish. Like, it's not super, you can't do as much as you might hope. Like, there's not a huge branching amount of options, right? But this is the game you play as this little guy here. Um, and there's this huge map, let's see if I can get it up. Yeah, there's this huge map here that you, that you go around, um, and my run that I did, because I saw h you know, going in, I watched him do a few runs, like, I wrote down, I, I went through his run and wrote down the notes on a two hour long run, which is like the fourth time I've done that. And I, I went through blind. I just went, I just, I mean, I played the game casually, but I, I went through and I did it all. And it was a three hour, 20 minute run. Oh my God. It was misery, dude. I was uh -huh. sitting for three hours molding my head off because <laughs> I, I, just, I just fucked up so many times. Um, so there's a, there's a cool, you know, a few bits of technique or tech stuff that we can get into. Uh, first off, I think we can go, like, do we want to get into like tech stuff? Because I think that's where it's really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to talk about that for a second, sure. Okay, down the framework. Yeah, so for movement, so this is, this is your character. Uh, you can do a roll that, like, it's like a dodge, right? But when you, you'll notice that when you roll, you have, like, a second of where you stop and you have to get up. So one bit of tech that you will use throughout the whole run is just jumping to cancel that. So you don't have to wait for him to get up. Um, there is, like, a little cooldown you see before you can do the next one. So it's fine to jump here, and that resets that cooldown. Um, so that is, like, the main bit of tech that you'll see. Um, a lot of tech involves like in the boss fights, you kind of you, you just stand behind the boss and you whack him from there, and that that you know <laughs> that does quite a bit of damage. Um, you can also so I think the big bit of tech that we found that is like game breaking is so you see them, you'll see them top right. I have the number zero uh, on the bar. That is like the, the amount of money that you have. It's called Nycrux. Um, and you kind of get that up as you go in the game, and there's a few things you need to buy with it. Like, you need to buy, let's see if I can find it here. You see in the bottom left, I have these attributes. Vitality, strength, those are the two main ones. That's health and strength. Uh, um, you need to use Night Crux to upgrade that, and also to upgrade your weapons. So it'd be really nice if we could get a lot of that really early on, so you could melt bosses. So, Ace Prime was browsing the Reddit one day, and he, he found this post. I don't know, XP duping, right? So, it, it turns out, so this is this is item in the game called uh, Hungry Essence or Starving Essence. If you if you kill a boss or not, not not a boss, but just an enemy, and you have this essence on, it'll increase the amount of Nightcrux that you get, which is nice, but like very niche. 
Turns out, if you were to die and then use one of these essences and pick up the night drops that you dropped, it also applies to that, which is insane. So let's see if I can, I don't know if I can demonstrate this. So the idea is at some point you like save up a whole fuck ton of night crux, you get all the, the essence that you can, and then you just go to town. Like you die, you eat some essence, and then you go pick up your stuff and you get like 20% more. And you do that like 10 times and you get 200,000 night crux, which basically trivializes the next hour and a half of the game. It's, it is, it is insane. So I'll quickly show the mechanic. So I'm going to kill this guy. You'll see it's up writing it's some Nycrux for that. So normally you're meant to eat some essence here and then, you know, you'll get a little bit extra there, but not too much. Do I have anything here? Okay. Let's see. This is the hungry essence and this is the starving essence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, uh, I guess I'll go to the, where I do it in the run. So there is this point called the Inquisition Foil. So you'll see I have 726 Night Crux. I'm going to die in this pit. The art on this game is incredible, by the way. It looks beautiful. Um, so yeah, that's our Night Crux there, that little flamey thing. I'm going to pop one of these. <clears throat> that's starving essence. Um, suddenly, we're in a tutorial. I... I... I thought I was faded for a second. I was like, wait a second, what yeah. what is going on here? <laughs> so you can see like yeah, we get we get a, a fuck ton more night more essence. And that can take like twenty K to two hundred K pretty easily. Um that's like that's like the main seconds run. It's pretty sick. I didn't well know done. it was that easy. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy about it. Yeah. Um, show it off. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, as you could all tell, Dig is very passionate about that, and we've all been there with those certain kinds of games, right? Like, where you just kind of... You just go in. You know what I mean? Like, you really just go to town, and um, it's always good to see new games like that pop up, and that's really, like, what the server is for and, like, what this platform is for, right? Um, To provide people with a good, safe, healthy place to not only learn and run games, but to also, like, break them down like that. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, feel free to join our Discord and come grind that. <laughs> because I'm sure there's plenty of people willing to uh, teach you all about... Uh, what is it called again? Last Fate. La Last La Fate. Yeah, okay, okay, I thought so. I thought so. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that was great. That was great. Um, so, yeah, I think... You want to go into Side in the Woods? Uh... Side <laughs> in the Woods. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah, really classic that's popped back up. We should probably we should probably save a little bit more of the tutorial content for like later episodes. Um because we're approaching a, a, about 45 here. So I think um I think one main thing that we'll be looking for as well is uh the community's feedback. So other ideas that you guys have, right? Uh other people you would like to see on the show. Um definitely let us know. Absolutely let us know for sure. Um, who do you guys want to get on the show? Lick. 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 Yeah, that that was Lick. quick. That was that was like a no-brainer. <laughs> that was like a no-brainer for you. I love um, Lick. First try. First try. Yeah, first try. First try. Back at some point too. Um, Definitely. Um. Tarek. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna get to play Isaac on demon. Yeah, Isaac oh, Tari. Uh, who else? Because we have like a little list, but I'm I'm trying to think like off the top of my head, like who would Agarway. Agari would be uh, Agar be a good chat. Um, have the, have the true OG trash gang on here. Yeah, that would be that'd be crazy. That would be oh, sick. This one, this one thing about trash gang. He he's not he's not active, but he's always here. He's always watching. You know. <laughs> yep, he is definitely Trash's always watching. Always watching. Um, let's see here. So. Oh, I just had something that I was going to go in about. Oh, uh, oh, we could get uh, probably other bigger creators too. Like I'm sure, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let me let me not spoil. Let me not spoil. But we'll see. Um, yeah, yeah. So this is great. Um, I'm very excited to start doing these. Like 100 percent because we're gonna do the interview content, guest content. Um. Tutorial content, much like talking about popping games in the server, games that are coming up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Much like Dig just showed off Last Faith, 
that'll be uh something that we do here uh pretty often as well for sure um there was one other thing that i wanted to discuss um hmm let me think on it but um feel feel free to to um Talk to the community, my friends. So, so does anybody else have any like questions, concerns, things you're excited about the show? Hmm. What are we excited for, boys? Not everybody at once now. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! I just, I just, I'm just excited to see what we uh, can get our grubby little mitts on next year because it's like, yeah. you know, our other games channel is just forever lighting up. And so it's like it's always there's always something. So like whether it's whether it's the next Choo Choo Charles or it's just another, you know, like Ding Dong Dead mm -hmm. plus a week. Oh, I can't wait to talk about Puppet really? Combo. Oh, we are gonna. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Mm, Ooh. Mm, we are so talking about that. But I did remember what I was gonna say. Um, this won't be the only place that you can find the podcast at. So we do plan on uploading this to our YouTube channel for those of you that don't catch the live show. We're going to upload this to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you listen to podcasts, it's going to be there. So just give us a little bit and we'll get this first episode up as well. But uh, expect them everywhere. So if you want to take IHSP on the go, feel free. Um, so yeah, man, um, lots of stuff coming for the show. Lots of lots of like really neat things, but I'm, I'm just really excited that we're actually kicking this off, you know? Um, so... So, anything else that we should kind of kind of talk about before we uh uh wrap off here because I am I am down. We have we have some time here, so I think I think we should get the slide in the woods like not necessarily show off the game but just talk about like the battle that's been happening there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, the thing is with with these kinds of things like this will always be updated, right? Like I feel like games like this always come through and they start getting just like fucking beat down like they just start whamming and then it's just over suddenly <laughs> it's I just, just it. i just wanna i wanna talk about the just the classic scenario of what happened where uh people are kind of going at it and then um someone like first try comes and demolishes the standard <laughs> as usual yep. like it's such a stereotypical <laughs> thing for people to be like oh we just got five sub five thirty. Oh, the first five twenty nine. Then we got five twenty eight. It's push, boys. Everyone's like almost giving up. Like it's like everyone's already ready to call it quits. And then you have <laughs> so it like first try come through and then drop it by two seconds. It's such a stereotypical uh, situation that happens. It's it's always wonderful to see it constantly play out. That's my opinion. Yeah, um, yeah. reminds me of uh, comes I out with the he already he yeah. always comes out with a go run on, it's like it's it's always gonna be like a few seconds it's never gonna be like oh I, I beat it by a few milliseconds or whatever it's always like a big jump from what everybody was expecting it's always know. it's always faster than you think it's gonna be yeah exactly yeah because yeah. yeah. that man puts in the time dude he, he not only is this, you know flicks insane but like he puts in the damn time like i remember back in ab2 days right i was chilling once i had the pred record i was chilling you know <laughs> i was like three minutes ahead of everybody everybody else in that leaderboard and then ft's like i'm gonna stop playing this game and i'm like oh god it's only a matter of time <laughs> it's, My it's gone <laughs> and i flew him off for like a good thousand attempts but he just could not stop he just he just steamrolled well, he even did it with Alien too. Like, um, mm -hmm. Lick was playing Alien, and then all of a sudden, first strike comes in and does a strat that uh, Lick was like, "Well, I mean, I knew about it, but it was like it was a hard strat. I, I never expected anybody to even attempt it, you know." And he's doing it in runs. It's like just crazy <laughs> stuff like that. He's yeah. actually very, very close to having all three world records, and because he was like, he was like fighting three battles at once. Um, I don't know. ABP is such a good story. I can't wait to get into that on an episode. Oh yeah, we can spend yeah. like a whole episode, two episodes on that. Even one. as a recent, it's still it's still changing and it's still advancing after a year and a half yeah, or so. It was like a what month ago, it? we found a whole new lick. Found a whole new like out of bounds, whatever. Like, we can get, we can get into all that some other time. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited yeah. to talk about it's that. A beautiful thing. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I've already mentioned this, but the other, the third other thing that happened this week was in, uh, Isaac finally cracking that in Sun Mind record. He finally got that because he's been grinding that. 
Um, you, it's, you it's a huge team. Like, was that by like 30 good, minutes good or something? Right? Like 25 minutes? No, 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 it was like... It was like five minutes. It was like five minutes. Oh, yeah. uh, I thought the I thought yeah, the record yeah. was like one fifty something. I was about to say it yeah. was one fifty one. He dropped it to a one forty six. There was another run he posted, which was for a different category that he lost. File four ages go profound. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I wasn't paying attention to it too much. Yeah, but that's still crazy. Yeah, we we, crazy. we spent like an, an hour and a half in cold together, just kind of bashing our head against this fucking table and just figuring it out. Um, so yeah, it was really cool to see him finally get there. Uh, and I'm definitely going to come back. So maybe next time, next podcast, you'll see another update. Hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't <laughs> count on that, like, boys. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing. What, what you don't think I can do it? I wouldn't count on <laughs> it. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Um, yeah, man. Yeah. So I think, um, I think one other thing we can discuss is our roles within IHS. Um, a lot of people don't know why we're staff. A lot of people don't know what we do behind the scenes. Um, so before we end this off, let's talk about that. So, um, Dig, uh, I'm pretty sure you know your role, but feel free to explain how much you oh, yeah. put in for our auto splitters, for the Discord, for networking with other communities. You know, definitely talk about that. Yeah, uh, I'm, so I guess like, there's no real like head of of IHS. Uh -uh. It's it's all all five of us are kind of like yeah. together. And even though I was you know the first of the five here, I'm definitely not like no nobody here is higher than anybody else, right? Right. But no, my specific role well, is you know absolutely absolutely. Um, my role is uh more more Discord admin, not more tech side. Like I'm I'm not the tech for this stream. This is this is Zoms doing but um yeah yeah I, i've i put a lot of the the tech together for like a lot for the marathon i am hugely important in getting auto splitters and loader movers up like this discord was a huge reason why i like you know improved my skills there so much because there's so many games that we run and i was just able to bounce between them and i always had fresh meat to work on yeah uh, also like modding stuff um yeah very very Guy in the back doing stuff. Um, guy in the back. That's definitely. Cool. Uh, <laughs> that's don't funny. Don't take that the wrong way. Guy in the back. <laughs> um, uh, but um, yeah. So that's that's kind of me there. Um, your resume for auto splitters is probably really crazy by now, right? I think I'm like mm, technically, I think I'm like one of the top five most prolific. That's nuts. That's actually really nuts. I'm not gonna lie. Um. Yeah, I think the next crucial role I mean, is. Oh, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, oh my god, um, so Dig is very much uh our tech savior and does a lot of the behind the scenes work. Um, Milo is the other role I want to talk about. Um, because Milo's very unique. Um, Milo has done a lot of not only the busy work, but Milo's a really good curator for new and. Uh, interesting games that are uh, right up our alley, right? So a lot of the games that we found or Mild has found or or things like that are 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 mostly due to Mild. You know what I mean? Like Mild really started like a big curating kind of deal. So Mild, feel free to uh, tell us about that journey for you. Yeah, like if if you look in the server, the well, I guess we we've archived it now, but the old um other games channel that was kind of my home. Like I think the the majority of my messages in the server are in that that channel alone. I would just be you know, especially on itch.io, that's where we found a lot of our stuff because they're free games. Uh, normally pretty shitty, you know, short, easy to get into kind of stuff. But I would be posting those all throughout the day. You know, I'd just be looking on there to see what what new stuff people posted i remember there was there were a few nights where me and plus would would run like 10 games in a night kind of thing you know yep. <laughs> but uh yeah i do i do that a lot um you know I'm, i do like flyers here and there now um it's kind of something i've gotten into like the artsy side of things but uh other than that i'm just i'm kind of always here you know if anything's in any busy work anything that's need to be done yeah. i'm always in the server like i don't think there's a time I mean, during the day where i'm not here you know what i mean yeah, you have like seventy thousand messages, which is more than double. <laughs> <laughs> the way the air about there, damn. I I, yeah. I I think uh, 
I think Miles said the other day, like, 20k of those are in other games, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah or something like that, yeah. Um, yeah. So, you're yeah. Like, uh, in terms of doing runs, so you're also, like, a huge glitch hunter, yeah? Yeah, so glitch hunting, I would... So, speaking of, just, like, speed runs in general, I would much rather find glitches than I would rather do a speed run. Like, I do a lot of speed runs and things, but, but glitches are where, like, I, I shine. Like, if I could just do that all day, I'd be happy, you know? Right. Glitch hunting is absolutely what I associate mild with. Yeah. Like, whenever a, a new game would pop in, or I, you know, or I'd go, "Ooh, this game would be really fun." Mild is always the first person I'm throwing the game at, going, "Hey, <laughs> hey, what can you find for me, bud?" Yeah, I, if I can just sit there and just bash my head into a wall all day, trying to like get out of bounds or, or just do something like funky in the game, you know, that's mm. that's what I love to do. Yeah, that's always something terrible. It, yeah, it's always <laughs> miserable as hell. It's always fucking... It, like, Miles found some sick shit, but as of recently, it's been sick in the head shit. Like, it, it, it ain't good. It ain't fucking good, bro. I'm telling you right now, shout out Happy. Long shot? Really? Oh, man. Really, too? Come on. Um, but yeah, so... <laughs> mild on the curating and design things. Um, Mild also does a lot of, like, like you said, busy work. Stuff that, like needed to get done quickly mild gets it done for sure um and then we have tim and plez which i think sort of have similar roles but tim also does a little bit of designing for us as well right tim has gone super crazy for ihsm in the past um but tim specifically i think in my opinion is just a very passionate member of our community and just very passionate about speedrunning in general right and tim also has his foot in a lot of live events right none of us are really making out to any live events tim's the only one actually out there networking getting his feet wet so tim feel free to tell us a little bit about that uh yeah okay so as mild that's uh, mild zom mentioned uh, a little bit of the graphics i was the one that handled all of the overlays and transition screens for the last two marathons uh even the puppet combo one that we did yep um, but yeah, in terms of like, I'm, I'm heading out to, you know, all the, the music events and I've, you know, been doing that for God, 20 years now, but even with like speed running, I've been hitting up a lot of the, uh, the other more established events the last few years, what, since 2021, I think, no, 2022, no, it would have been 2021, but, and I was saying to Diggity the other day that <laughs> even at those events, the amount of times the phrase in IHS gets uttered at those things it's just insane like the the like this community has been such a part of my life now that even at other speed running events i'm talking to you guys up big time so <laughs> it's like a you know getting the name out there as much as i can yeah so yeah, tim yeah, yeah. really fills that ambassador oh. role like like really well like if i had to put sure. like a name for it, it it'd definitely be ambassador for sure definitely mm -hmm. what are you gonna yeah, say Dick? I mean, he's not gonna be alone in that soon Hopefully, hopefully, I can come out with him to some events. Like That'd be ASM fantastic. That would be fantastic. We, we were talking about it. It's it's in the tank. It's in the tank. It's in the tank, baby. It's in the tank. It's in the tank. And and you know, last but not least, man, besides myself, is the homie Plez. And Plez has been here since yeah. I've been here. Um, and this is somebody that will tell you straight up was not a content creator, didn't care about uploading, didn't care about shit. And then in the span of like a year. Plez has become a full-fledged creator that gives a fuck about IHS. Plez will tell you himself again that he'd barely used Discord. And now he's just improved so much as just a person and a creator. Like, Plez is, again, very much like Tim on the ambassador role, right? Putting on for IHS, telling other communities about us, getting more people involved in IHS. And he's there when we're not, you know? So feel free to tell the people a little bit about that, Plez. Um, I I do honestly feel like I'm a grifter compared to all y'all. <laughs> I'm, I'm more on like the nah. speedrunning side. Yeah. I love the games. Yep. Um, I I do a lot of degen work where I'll, I'll just play a game mindlessly. Yeah. And uh, it's the whole aura of the type of games that we run. I love. I feel more. I I would say less of an ambassador, more like community manager hell love, yeah like, making friends with all y'all i love sitting in vcs with y'all and grinding out games finding new games posting them in there grinding them for weeks on end and never touching them again um <laughs> i love like like he said uh i didn't i wasn't i was big on discord right but i didn't talk inside of discord i didn't really like interact much this is like the first place i felt back what two years ago where like 
you know, Mild was here talking a lot too, and me and him, like, it was just every chat. It was like whatever game was popping, it was me and him, and me and him in there, like talking and mm-hmm. like curating everything, and uh, it was. It was really fun, homey experience. Like I feel like at home here. Like I'm not worried about what I say. I love everybody in here. I feel like we've done a really good job at keeping like um, the vibe good. Especially when I started like looking into other discords more, and I'm like, wow, this place is terrible. <laughs> 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 to I feel like the vibe that we keep yeah. is uh, really nice, and uh, I enjoy it a lot. Uh, this definitely is another home. So I got it tattooed on me. It's because I, I I love this place. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. If I had to use one word to describe place, it would be homie. Yeah, homie. Yeah. No, yeah. no doubt. No doubt. I mean, got that, yeah. That homie feel. yeah. And like, I remember the day. It was some some point last year where Pledge just started hanging out with VCs, and I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" He's like, "I don't know. I just wanted to see if I could get more people to like join." And now everybody VCs in the community, and that's all it took. So that's where Pledge comes yeah. in as like that community figure, and and it's really cool. It's really really cool, man. And Minecraft server, like oh yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. Oil. We'll absolutely yeah. talk about that. Oh yeah, we'll talk about that before we go. Um, so to touch on another thing, yeah, we work very hard to keep this like a safe, healthy environment for everybody, right? We love to troll, we like to just meme and shit like that, but never like too far. Like we always want to make sure we have a a good, safe environment for everybody, right? Of veteran runners to new runners to everybody. You know what I mean? So we strive really hard to like make sure that that's like. Uh, a, a big part of our community, you know? Um, mm-hmm. So, I guess that leaves me. Um, I guess I'm somewhat like Dig, where I'm just a different part of the brain. Um, Dig has a lot of the tech stuff handled. <laughs> Dig, Dig has a, a lot of the uh, tech stuff handled, right? Um, but I kind of came up with like, the idea of the brand like trying to like push us as something more than just a discord or more than just um you know the place where people go for new games like now we're expanding into other things right youtube we're doing the podcast right now right um you know all of our social medias and things like that so i wanted to really like further ihs and take us to like the next level so that's kind of where i came in and i was like okay let's do x y or z let's kind of um try to um build something more of this you know what i mean and and really put out a platform that like the community can use you know what i mean like there's nowhere for new runners to go that like you can get all of what we have you know what i mean so like that's yeah. where i'm just i mean if i can jump in here, yeah like, yeah I, of course I, I of course kind of, i want to kind of really of emphasize that like if i think if you ask like me or players or, or, or you know mile especially like none of we're all just kind of dgens that like we just we're just in the discord front of the games right we're thinking nobody else wants to see this you know we just we're, we're doing our own thing but people like tim and tim and zom right i mean i've got to give them good to tim as well on this um but like yeah, especially zom like you are in the content space you know that people like you, you're used to like being that sort of person that figurehead all right and and like you told so people care about this people want to see this and i'm like you sure though like uh, <laughs> but you would you're right like it's i'm so glad we have someone like you pushing this sort of thing and getting us to get like you know out of our comfort zones and like you know do this sort of content like that's huge like that's that cannot be understated like everything that you're seeing twitch and everything where it's on it's not there okay, yeah well, you asked me to do zom's job and i would i would be out like, <laughs> I'd be, I'm, I'm, I'm done i'm out here never mind <laughs> that brings us to our next point mild what's up what? I was just making a joke saying that brings us to our next point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't, here it is. Don't get up and go get pizza and expect me to, like, like just don't. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, yeah, man, I definitely want to cap all that off by saying we all are a very crucial part to this. But before that, um, we actually added a brand new staff member. Um, Huge shout out to Rekill. Now, yeah, like, cause we love you, Reed. Yeah, cause, we cause, uh, we had added her, um, right around uh, this year's marathon, um, mainly on the community manager aspect of things, right? Um, I see Re in the chat now. Feel free to come and join the call as well. But, um, yeah, we kind of wanted her on board for a little bit of a different change of pace, right? We wanted to bring. You know, cause this is a meat fest, bro. Like, like we're all a bunch of guys here, dog. Like, so at least Re 
kind of comes in and, and balances that out and gives, you know, maybe some female speedrunners or other speedrunners like a little bit more comfortability. <sighs> and I think that, that was like really important to me. Like that was something that I really wanted for us and I thought would be like really good for the community, you know? Because there are a lot of female speedrunners out there that don't feel comfortable in like these like super male dominated spaces, you know what I mean? So like I feel like, um, you know, bringing on a, a a girl was like a really good thing for us and uh welcome re how are you hi I'm with crit too. Hi, hi, hi. Re, yeah, uh, yeah. let's get it i, I want to say a quick yeah yeah please for, please do uh, because for... wait uh plez is the reason that re's here so yeah please please feel free um and, and our personal talks she she like talks about how she loves this place and uh, I always appreciated that Zom brought up the fact that she could be mod because she has that same love for this place, even though she's not as much of a speedrunner. Very, like, uh, same-esque as me, like, uh, community manager, mm -hmm. keeping the vibes cool. Um, she really loves the whole entire vibe of this place, and I think she was a wonderful addition to the team. She's she's degening right along with you in the in the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah. I'm not gonna air out how long you guys have been in there, but I, you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna air it out. He's, he's done it before. He learned the first time. He said, yeah, "I won't bring that up anymore." That's I'll wake just... up in the morning and go, "Shit, they're still in there." Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Gamers gaming. Yep. Gamers gaming. Most of the time, he's not even asleep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, buddy. I, I do. I take little tiny naps, you know what I'm saying? Just a little cat nap. <laughs> cat ass. Cat never ass. falls asleep in Discord ever. Uh -uh. Yeah, or during marathons. No, yeah. no, that no, no, that didn't happen. No. Um, but yeah, so this is the crew, man. Uh, aside from Trash Gang, but Trash really just kind of fills in his own his own lane. Trash is very much behind the scenes in the Discord, but these are. These are the faces that you guys should know. He's got 11 RuneScape accounts open right now. Yeah, he does. 100% he does. 100%. <laughs> no question. Trash Gang has, he's like, he doesn't like, you know, he's not part of the community nowadays, but he's there for legacy reasons. Someone's, you gotta fucking own the, on of the uh, founder. Yeah. But he, was, he was there in the early days, and even even now, like, um, we've had a few instances, you know, where somebody's, like, account will get compromised or whatever, you know, and they'll be spamming the chats, and he'll be like, yo, I banned him, you know, I didn't see anybody else doing it, so I went ahead and did it myself. <laughs> like, he, he, I mean, he's, he's always okay. there, it's like just... Like the all yeah. eye. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's <laughs> sitting back like... Yes. He's yeah. a fucking Pinkerton, we guess. <laughs> yeah. Um... So yeah, man, that's the team. That's our backgrounds, and obviously, Ree's the newest member, so we had to put a little emphasis on that. But um, I did notice a lot of questions about that, so I wanted to clarify that for the community and anybody who was curious. So this will definitely be uploaded on the channel, so everybody kind of knows, you know, who we are, right, and why we kind of do things, and you know, all things are are, are going down. So um, yeah, let's let's talk about a couple more things, and then we can close it out. So I think we want to touch on IHS Minecraft, right? Yeah. Let's Minecraft. absolutely touch on that because man, um that that kind of came about in in a uh uh very interesting way, right? Don't fucking join if you just want to play Minecraft. That's what I'm saying right here. Don't fucking want you. We don't fucking want you. <laughs> we don't want you in there. Oh, that's funny. That is good. That is good. Um, but no, seriously. So, yeah. how did that idea actually come about? Uh, actually, I do. I do want to say this. All right, now, um, I I believe I talked to Dig about it. Brought up Minecraft, but I, this is this is honest to God. Both movie night, which we do every Saturday night at uh -huh. like nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's what I was going. Yeah, Minecraft server was talked about by re before i heard it from anybody else and then i brought the uh, uh, ideas out like and zom always loves movies and that's what i thought about i was like i was like zom loves movies he's always talked about we need to watch alien versus predator inside the server mile two mile two definitely yeah yeah mile two yeah, and separately re brought it up outside of all of that shit you know saying when are we going to start the minecraft server when are we going to watch movies and then i ended up like bringing it up and i guess when you know more people talk about it it's like well we could probably make this a thing right so i do want to say some some <laughs> the ideas were there by everybody and uh 
you know, just more people agreeing with it brought it to life, I guess. So it's, I think, it's, like, it's the, really cool to see. The first time we ever, like, talked about Minecraft in this server is, like, when you were doing um, a hardcore, like, you had a, you had a series, like, at a time where you were just going in on hardcore Minecraft and trying to beat it, and I was yep. like, this is, this is sick as fuck, and then I uh, did the same thing. It, I remember talking about it, because I was like, I've been playing Minecraft on and off for a while, and I never beat it, and you were like, you know what, I never have either. And that was what, like last year. And then I think we both did. I like shows you me beating it. It was pretty cool. And we did it on hardcore, or at least I did. I don't remember what if you did. I did it on hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty sick though. I need that cred. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Plus, need that dude, gas. I have to. Um. So yeah, eventually after that, we decided to make the realm open to the server. Right. I mean. Much like Plez was just joking about. I mean, it's fine if you join the server and want to come play Minecraft, but we would, you know, appreciate it if you spent some time hanging around the server, you know. <laughs> at, at, le at least before. Because it's very, it's very community-based place. Speed podcast, then you're yeah. here for the right reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're very community-based uh, and we're all like... friends, so... Like, if you yeah, just yeah. join and the first thing you do is go to the IHS server, like, add me. It's, <laughs> it's, it's just, it is a little off. But, you know, getting to know anybody, we're free to let anybody in, yeah. of course. Yeah. Um, it's so just we're not a Minecraft like, server. <laughs> All right. But, but for the yeah, Minecraft server, server, like, we have, like... <laughs> yeah, we're a marathon like... server. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Wait, see now, now, now's my time to shine. Now's my time to shine. Okay, all right, all right. So, you know what? You know what? Um, <laughs> he's like gloves off, man. Yeah, off. nah, because because this is this is why we need platforms like this right here. So, listen, the person's gonna remain anonymous. Doesn't really matter who they are, but but I don't even know who they are. It, right, but regardless, um. A forum post was made recently, and they were talking about how IHS is a marathon Discord. And I don't, you know, you can't, what people say is, is like, whatever, right? But when it comes to, like, the perception of, like, who we are and, like, what IHS is, that was something where I was like, mm, yeah, I don't think that's, uh, that, that's pretty accurate at all, to be honest with you. Because um, I think this well, person... It was because, um... It was from the last faith, right? They they posted a thing because they wanted to see like a thing for the game. They just saw like indie horror speedruns in the marathon, and they were like, "Ah, fuck this!" Left. Yeah. To the forum post. They they joined at the time that we were doing our one marathon of the year, and they just wrote it off as as marathon server. Does you know they don't care about the game, whatever kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which ultimately, I was like, "Nah, that's not cool." So when you do join the Discord, my point in actually taking time to talk about this is feel free to come and chat with us right like somebody said in the chat back in the chat ihs is a community discord exactly like feel free to come and chat with us we are way more than an event discord we like we just explained throughout this whole episode we do this for the community right so if anybody feels like we're not providing enough or you need more resources or you need a channel or anything like that feel free to ask us that's what we do and that's why we're here so never be shy or anything like that even though i know sometimes it's weird but Feel free to say what's up. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm sure all of you guys agree, right? I mean, yeah, absolutely. you know? Yes. I mean, so. we got red names. Like, our names look different from everybody, but we're, I mean, we all started where everybody yeah. else is, you know? Exactly. Exactly. We just yellow names like you guys. Better. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I definitely just wanted to um, just point that out quickly. But, but yeah, so um, one last thing is movie night. So yeah, uh, we have our Minecraft Realm, um, but Movie Night is also our other community event that we have pretty much weekly. Um, where um, also like Reese. Seven. Yeah, I think we're not week eight actually. Week eight. Yeah, week week eight. Week yeah. eight. Um, but Re is also a huge help in that. Re kind of comes through with being able to stream um, our movies <laughs> like literally every week. Like Re's been su super super clutch for that. But. Um, we do have movie night, and we're watching a couple movies at a time every weekend, so feel free to pop in. You'll see us announce it on socials and things like that in the announcements and all that, but um, feel free to come through because that's a weekly thing as well. So we have other things outside of speedrunning. Yeah, right, right, right. Saturday, this Saturday for sure. Um, if you're watching this live this Saturday, if you're watching it on YouTube, uh, Saturday. 
<laughs> but um, <laughs> um that's american slang by the way yeah yes yeah. yes yes uh, yes also yes. we're definitely making a um a, a channel for the jouch a <laughs> channel for the jouch oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're making that decision right here right we're, now we're joining it it'll be added immediately after this goes um, live so. mm -hmm. yeah, a, a jodcast you <laughs> catch us next time with a jodcast look what we've done man look what we've done um this is gonna be like immortalized it's right it's, this is it's, one. Small. <laughs> yep. it's all plays it's over man yeah yeah it's over yeah. It's no, you, you wait. Tim, you can't say it's just all in, man. You made a whole fucking game. <laughs> made a whole game out of it. <laughs> you, <laughs> you enabled me. No, you, you enabled, enabled me. me by starting it. Is what happened? Enabling is crazy. <laughs> um, I'm a joust addict, baby. I don't know what to say. You know what I'm saying? We fucking on the joust tonight. That's all I gotta say about it. <laughs> um. So yeah, man. Um. Anything else you guys want to touch on before we kind of close it out, say goodbye, talk to the chat for a second, you know? No. Uh, okay. I'm... Oh, yeah, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go, I, I am... Uh, I feel so... Just like, just a moment from the heart here. I feel so on about... Yeah, we're in this fucking position. Like, it's crazy. But I think, like, the, the thing that made me go, oh, shit, was when we, like, during the IHSM marathon... We were on the front page for a good portion of it, right? So we had of the sorry of the front page of speedrun.com, which obviously you get some viewers from there. But um, for the whole portion where we were off the front page, we were had we had 30, 40 active viewers, and that blew my mind because we had only done our own sort of promotion that was internal, which means 30, 40 people showed up, joined, and cared for like five or six hours at minimum. That to me is wild. And like I am just so I'm so excited to see what comes next. Grateful. Yeah, like we hovered we hovered around forty. I don't think it ever really dropped below thirty, if it if it even did, you know. Yeah. I think it like being during at the closing and you know, but that was you know, obviously that's that's by the end. Right, yeah. For sixteen hours we held insane Six, Sixty yeah. sixty average, something like uh -huh. that. Those crazy numbers. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. 10,000 unique people join. I mean, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, I know Tim has talked about this the last two years on our IHSM, but like, um, you know, you talk about things with your friends and you have big like aspirations and you're like, oh, we're going to do this. And it kind of falls off. But I feel like because of our team, you know, because of everyone individually, not just one. I, actually, I want to point out, especially Zom, like he has the motivation to like, he has that content driven brain to push us to be like to show us what we could do, right? For sure. <clears throat> but I think without us all of us individually, um, it wouldn't have actually became a thing because we're we're not like businessmen and we're not like yeah. super crazy about nothing. It, we just we just wanted to do it and we ended up doing it and it's getting better and better every year and it's getting more exciting every year. And and longer. We had much more submissions which inspired us to make it longer to include more people um so yeah it's we only on the up and it feels great know, like, yeah we still had crazy. to reject so many runs so it, it's just it's really nice to be a part of this community and have the team that we do so yeah yeah i i agree man i i i think the one word is just uh grateful for sure um just to be able to um uh have such a wonderful community but also like have you guys put your trust in us you know what i mean so we've already done a lot but we're gonna continue to do a lot so um yeah if you guys are good i guess we'll uh close us out and we can um you know end the show here and whatnot but uh with that said um oh. We could go another four hours, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, definitely. No problem. Absolutely. <laughs> um. So with that said, I that <laughs> that that does it for the very first episode of the Indie Horror Speedruns podcast. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, showing love. We love every single one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um. Like I said, find this on YouTube, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, all that good stuff. It'll be available on YouTube uh asap so check that out uh we love you guys be safe and we'll see you next month much love
Bye-bye. Bye-bye.